There we are. Oh, hello. Ah, new hair. Yeah, it's very nice. New suntan as well. Yeah, I know. It's not, it looks worse. It's not, I look really red in the video, but um, it's not. When I look at myself in the mirror, it, I don't look like that. So, uh, <laughs> sort of... It's the lighting. Hello, doggy. Oh, Who's that? My, that's my Who's... dad's dog. Oh. Who's in the national news. No. Uh, well, he, dad, I told you dad had a fall. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know I mean? Yes. Yeah, he's in hospital and all that. You know. Yes. Just before you, just before you left, or was that last week when we spoke? Uh, two weeks tomorrow. So yeah. Two weeks ago, the same day um, Sue died. So you know. That's right. Yes. Anyway, yeah. so he's still there, but he's doing all right. Um, and Jack kind of ran out the door. So the dad fell. He he, he licked his face and then ran out the back door, uh, barking. Came back in, and still no one came. So he went back out again and started barking until our friend who lives at the back came round. Worried. The door. Yeah, and open the door and blah, blah, blah. Called the no way. But it's Hero Dog Saves the Hour. It's the, it was the front page, you know. It's sort of, and now the national press have rung up. <laughs> so no. Jack's a celebrity. <laughs> wow. He's Go a pain Jack. in the ass. He's a complete pain in the ass, I tell you. He's sweet, but he's terrier. Really? Oh, he's terrier. Yeah. Christ almighty. So I'm dog sitting. Right, if you had to take him for walks. No, he won't walk with me. He just puts the brakes on. Oh, really? Go. Yeah, yeah. So the friend, the neighbour who he likes, she comes every morning. I tried to take him. I got out the front door and just put the brakes on. And he's really stressed at the moment because Dad's not here. And the poor sod doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. He's actually he's a really sweet dog. He's just got loads of mental health problems. <laughs> oh. He's like got anxiety. And <laughs> But he Jack, is, he, Jack. He won't, he won't go, no, he won't. Not a chance. I'll see. Jack! No. Yeah. Oh, like a dog. Flo came and got me the other day. She's uh, like, oh, I was working. She's like, Dad, Dad, quick. you got to come. you got to come. Like, serious problem. So I followed her and she led me to the back gate. And she's like, it's the other side of the gate. you gotta, you got to open the gate. It's like, blimey, what's the other side of the gate? So I opened the gate and um, Sally and Gracie were the other side, um, sitting on the on the uh, village green, chatting to some friends. Oh. We wanted to go and join them. Oh, I see. So it was almost like, yeah, let me so out. She, yeah, she was coming yeah. to get me to, uh, to, yeah. to get, her the, get her through the gate. It must be so frustrating being a dog. We yeah, were saying, yeah. You know, you can't you can't open the tins of food. No. You can't open the door. Yeah, the mercy. You really want to wee, but no one will let you out. Yeah. You know, you can't. So my first uh, night here, Jack woke me up at half past three. Yeah. Because he wanted a wee. Where does he He's sleep? Um, well, I've, he usually down on the chair there. You can see his little chair there. Oh yeah, yeah. Or, um, or in the thing where I've left all of it because he can sleep on dad's bed. Because he's really, he really, because they've been, you know, they're really close. Yeah, yeah. He won't leave his sign at all. So now it's like, where the hell is he? Yeah. So he doesn't what know have what you done with him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't understand. No. But he, uh, you know, he understands to come for a wee. Like in the morning, because I got up early and I, he, he doesn't get his water till 10 and I'm gone by 7. Right. And he's been up all night. So I just said, come on, Jack, come for a wee. And he comes trotting out, does a piss in the garden, and he goes back to bed again. So he's good. Did, he's um, quite clever. Have you taken him to see you, Deb? No one's allowed. No, no, we're not allowed. No one's allowed in the hospital. Oh, really? Uh, uh, what a pain. Fucking COVID. I know. Uh, it's a real killjoy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But he's doing all right. I mean, Dad's so grateful. He's in the Royal Gwent. It's COVID-free, and he's just so grateful. You know, he's he he you know, and he holds court. You know, all the nurses love him because he's very sort of chatty and he gives everyone legal advice and all that sort of stuff. 
They're all in there with broken hips and broken legs, you know. All these right. old parts of broken. <laughs> He's being moved. He's going to be moved to a hospital that's just down the road. Yeah. Um, which I'm a bit worried about because the Royal Gwent is really good and it's COVID yeah. free. Mm. You just say, oh, don't move him. But anyway, so that worries me. Is he yeah. in there? He's in there for a while, is he? Well, he's 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 re rehabilitating now, and the Royal Gwent's a surgical hospital, mm. so they they take him to a sort of you know old style. Halfway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Like care, well, not a care home, but but then yeah, but part of me because I'm working in schools, I don't really want him here. I'd be really paranoid. Yeah. Oh, it's just such a pain. It's awful. This whole COVID thing. Because if dad gets it, he's fucked. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't want to be the one, you know. Yeah. But I'd stay in school, you know, there was no very, it was very lax. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're trying, but, you know. How old are the kids? Ten. There's yeah. only ten of them, but they're all um, vulnerable. Yeah. So they're not, you know they're kind of all over the shop for many, well, because they've been four months being very more vulnerable now. It's uh, it's an estate called The Site in right. Barboid. It's one of the poorest areas in Europe. Really? Uh, it's, uh, they don't leave, you see, it's actually quite safe because it's, no one goes there, no one leaves. So there's not been any COVID there because no, <laughs> no one goes anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they never leave. They don't even go to local villages or anything. They're just, and there's lots of drug and alcohol abuse and mental health problems and su suicide and you know you get the stories of God and I see the children. So they're very resilient. They're lovely kids, but they're very, yeah. They just have nothing, but they're so grateful, so grateful because anything you do, they just like love it. So I play guitar and stuff singing singing their poetry of course for them it's just like they're like oh, bloody hell they just <laughs> go how do you do that how do you do that yeah 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 and then, you know yeah. and, you just, and then some of them had a go themselves you know they're much more creative than the more affluent children i teach they're much more open to sort of work in different ways yeah yeah just they yeah. haven't got the procedural skills or the yeah. um the discipline because they've just they've got mm. no structure mm. you know one night they're going mother's on the floor piss the next night maybe there might not be anyone home you know one little boy hadn't been to bed all night they're quite open about it and you can see he's like this yeah. he's exhausted i mean it's imagine you stay up all night yeah 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 yeah, all yeah. School, no breakfast and then some twat like me is going right we're going to write some poetry you know no wonder they go, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but you know, he, got, he did quite like me. He last, I was with him for three hours. About two and a half hours, he's pretty good. And then he started sort of slightly. Yeah. yeah. No, not too bad. Just no, bad no. enough. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a long time, isn't it? Three hours. Yeah. That's a lot three of Three hours time. doing literacy as well. Yeah. I sometimes wish you know, I was doing circus skills or something. <laughs> You know, it's much easier to sell. Go three hours of circus skills, right? But you can put some of that in there, though, don't you? You do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do a lot of nice things, but they they write. I'm very passionate about them writing something. But of course, it's, and then of course, because some of them need support, I'm having to sit two meters and <laughs> some shit, writing it down like this. Okay, right. You see that word? <laughs> and sort of going, you know, talking to them. You have to do all this stupid fucking bollocks. <laughs> They're the same. And they're going, what the fuck? Right, oh. because that's the curriculum, is it? Is that what? No, no, as in you're not allowed to get close, you see. No one's uh, allowed. I see, yeah, yeah. You're giving yeah. out equipment, right? I've got an anti back. Yeah. Yeah. Cut the equipment, anti back. Then they all anti back, come up when I've stood back. And pick up, and it's just for a piece of string. Yeah, yeah. And in the end, today they teach me to not fucking escape it out. You know, we anti back and said, "Look, yeah, it's clean there." Yeah, ah, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. it's 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 invisible, isn't it? It's so difficult yeah. to, you know, sort of express it or 
in but the I don't mix. think, oh, I don't know, tempting fate. I mean, clearly it's bad. But it's bad. It is bad, but most people, you know, your risk of getting it is actually quite small. Very small. So what yes. you've got to do is it's bad, but if, you've just got to be careful, but you've got to also live. You can't, some people are going over the top. They're not going out at all. They're, they're terrified. Yeah. They but, but the thing is, I've, yeah, yeah there are, I've had, you know, people who've had people who've had it and it's really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really bad. Get it. So, you know, until there's some way of doing something about that, mm. you know, I know it's like, it's like um, uh, 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 risk analysis, isn't it? The, yeah. um, there's, yeah. there's two factors. There's what's the chance of it happening and what's the, um, what's the repercussions if it does happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And something like this, yeah. Really unlikely to happen, but if it does it happen, to, yeah. And if you multiply those two together, a small thing times a big thing is still quite a big thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. No, I get that. It is. Uh, look, but one of my so I've got these jobs, you know. Um, I don't know if I told. Yeah, I told you on the phone, didn't I? I've got these jobs, three schools, mm. two weeks, you know. And yeah, I was a bit nervous, but now I'm thinking. Someone's got to do this. Someone, you've got to, you can't just neglect all these thousands and thousands no. of children and thousands of no. this really screwing people up. It's inconvenient for the likes of you and me and for the likes of, and for us, because we're both self-employed, possibly a disaster, you know, because we both run up. But for them, it is really a disaster. I mean, it's completely screwing their lives. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. But yesterday we, yeah. with, um, I made, we made viral eating monsters wow. um, and they loved it and we started talking about COVID-19 so they had these little a alien they had to create these little model aliens that were coming down to help the human race by and honestly the little weapons they had they're going this is a virus sucker <laughs> they thing, a little viral worms and I said what do they do they, they went off like the, the spaceship and they all went off and hunted out the virus and then came back and then another creature went and let them and then another creature and it's just good for them to talk about this thing can be defeated you know not because some of them are really scared it's really affected them mm. because mm. especially if they've got no parent guidance yeah what do they see 40 odd thousand dead and you know they're they're really scared and you know that could lead to mental health and i mean the way i'm doing it is i'm sort of keeping the distance i don't touch you know no. I, so yeah. that, but as they move around because i do movement and stuff yeah i mean i don't know we're doing a bit yeah. of singing you know yeah. and it's good they need some joy in their life yeah 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 uh, if we i mean you're like you say your biggest um uh safety net is the fact that so few people yeah i'm in an area it. of yeah and especially you're in an area where there's not huge traffic in and out. So, uh, you know, if it, it, that's, you, you've got, I mean, I think, you know, yesterday there was one person, one reported, um, you know, new infection in Kent. Yeah. So Kent's pretty safe. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, but you don't know where that one is, do you? Or no. the other few yeah, that I have mean, got yeah, it, but yeah, just exactly. didn't report it. But um, it's really... Yeah, it's really hard to get your head around, and especially like you say. I mean, and that's um, for a ten-year-old. It's even harder, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's just well, like look, mine. And then, and then this morning, you know, and you don't just think, right? It's, it's a, I'm part of this COVID study, King's. Yeah. Thing. And it was all the you know the latest research, and it's just it's, you think, oh, here we go, and it's this thing. Oh God, it's really depressing. They're saying that drops in temperature, they're pretty certain now, leads to it being far more infectious, as well as, so in other words, it, and so it increases and it becomes more infectious as it increases, so it's easier to catch. And uh, so we need, uh, you know, more, it's about, you know, dry rooms in the winter, it's a disaster. And most houses in this country are quite dry, so they're saying, you know, 
we need to have windows open. We need to, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 otherwise, yeah. they're just saying there is going to be another peak. You know, there's not mm. a lot we can do about it. No. No. And then what does that mean? Because, you see, what worries me is schools aren't functioning, right? They're not. No. They're not. Um, so they haven't functioned since March. And that's a look for us, five months. For a child, that's massive. Yeah. It's really big. Yeah. yeah. And I worry about the repercussions. And I think they just really need to work out schools. how Because children, you know, they, they need to really research, right? Are they carriers? Or, because they're not getting it, generally, they're not. So maybe they're not, a you know, so there might be a way of, right, keeping them in, but I don't know. They need to really, they can't just keep shutting schools. They can't. It'll be a disaster in the future, you know, because we're having, we're going to have a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, deregulated or dysregulated children mentally, which will then be dysregulated adults. You know, it's, it's storing up. That's what worries me. A lot of kind of mental health issues. You know, they need their education. They need that stability. So that's, you know, I mean, we'll sort of muddle through. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's all a bit grim, really. It is. Yeah. It is. And yeah, everyone, you know, people seem to think it's over. You know, generally they do, don't they? A lot of people are thinking. Well, a lot of people don't think it ever started in the first yeah, place, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not, I'm, you know, I can't see it, therefore it's not happened. Yeah. Which is, you know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a good strategy. You know, just carry on, ignore it. And if it takes you out, it takes you out. But at least, yeah, yeah. you know, you've kept the, the education yeah, yeah, and everything yeah. going. Normal life has carried on. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you'll lose. The tr the, I think the problem is, is the, you know, there is no, uh, there's no treatment at the moment. You no. know, so you can't afford to let loads of people get it because there's nothing you can do. To I know, them. exactly, which is the whole point, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm sort of, I am anti-backing a lot in the school. Yeah. And that's about it. I just think yeah. I'm just being... And you're, a, you're keeping distant. I mean, you're keeping I'm distant. Trying to I mean, yes, two, I've been in two schools and the first school was really good. That was very safe, very organised. It's just not this new one. And I'm not in any position to go, hang on, you're not... So, like all the, the TAs, I was working with two teaching assistants and a teacher. They weren't social distancing at all. No. Not at all. They were no. right up against the children, chatting away like it was normal. Yeah. And the children weren't socially... They were sat, but it wasn't... They were like, you're all a bit close. I mean, you're sort of separate, but you're not that separate. It's tough, isn't it? It's it's tough to um, yeah. To instill that on on a group. Yeah, I mean it's got to be that's the diff, you know. So the this yeah, yesterday's school was just very very organised. They were really clear, and the children were. It was very clear of how to give things out. It was really nicely right. done. Right. It was very, you know. Right. Very, very good. So do you think they had a lower lower risk? I mean, not a lower risk, but a lower chance. Absolutely. When you see it done like that. Yeah, you I think. I didn't see, you know, at, and at playtime, they were all very clear where they play. And, but today it was like, <laughs> they were all just charging around, grabbing on, you know. Not grabbing on. No, I don't think I saw anyone. They weren't touching, but they were, and they're outside and. You know, there's not been any cases, so it would be very yeah. weird if mm. suddenly there's a, there's cases in that in Bargoy when there's been none for mm. at all. I don't think, or very very few. So, who knows? It's interesting though. Interesting, but yeah. I do feel quite nervous. Yeah, I bet. But I can't wear a mask. No, I can't teach. You know, because. So, uh, so there we are. It's funny. It's quite odd. I'm just sort of thinking, right, so if I've got it now, then it'll hit me and when, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'll be feeling a bit rough. <laughs> yeah. So you're just going to sort of sit around? Yeah, going, okay, right. 
still feeling okay. Uh, and now it's not, uh, it's not just coughing, is it? There's different types. So. Yeah, you don't, you lose your sense of smell and taste. Coughing and fever, isn't it? They're the three big ones. Is it? Right. Uh, but I don't know, but then on the radio the other day, there was these people talking about how awful ME kind of, you know, chronic fatigue and all this yeah. has gone on yeah. for months. But you've got to remember that there's thousands of people who've recovered and they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So I think it's the media, isn't it? You can, if you, all you hear is the four, five, you know, there were four people on the radio and stuff and they all had similar, you know, you just think, oh my God. But they don't interview the 10,000 who are going, yeah, it was awful, but I'm all right. Yeah, that's very true. Very true. Yeah. And I think we can get skewed and that's fine. Maybe yeah. we need to be yeah. frightened, like you say. Maybe it's, important that people go well it is serious but i think it's more like it can be serious rather than it is yeah it can be but it can also be quite mild but if you look at the percentages of the people who've actually died and it's like uh, was it 80 percent or over 80 or something yeah right it's most which is still awful but you know talking about us and our risk. I don't like, I'm going to touch wood because I'm a tempting fate. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. let's move on. Let's talk yeah, about something. Move on. Yeah. Sod Corona. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Don't let it ruin uh, rule our lives. Yeah. No. Evie got our results today. Got All a first. Right. Bloody hell. Well done. I know. I'm amazed. That's amazing. I, she was she was pretty confident, but I was like, I'm such a pessimist. I was like, oh, yeah. you know. That's great then. So what's the plan? I mean, don't know. Don't, don't know, know now. That's good news. She's got. You can work with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Did you? You went to uni, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I got a two-two, Jasmine. Yeah. So did I. Yeah. So did classic. I. Yeah. Classic. I didn't actually do. <laughs> It didn't actually do any work. <laughs> no, neither did I. See, we were, I mean, really, it's embarrassing. It's awful. Just wait, I mean, I really wish I'd done work, you know, because now I look back and think, God, that was so interesting. Such and a waste. I passed waste. around. Such a waste. I think the yeah. third year I did a little, you know, I sort of woke up to it thinking. Right, did you? Did off. you? Well. I went the other way, I think. I think <laughs> you started keen. <laughs> declined. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, you Locking. ask Chris, I mean, it's Chris, me, I mean, seriously. Oh. It's such a waste. Such a waste. Well, we know we had a great time, but I don't know. I don't, yeah, that's true. I don't remember the lectures. I don't remember the court at all. No. All I remember is the good times. I can't yeah. remember anything. No. I can't remember where I... I didn't used to go to lectures. Sometimes they're just too early and I said, like, oh, I can't be asked. No, I only went in because there was a guy in our house who used to drive in and he'd get me out of bed and get oh, me out of the car. Oh, that's you. We didn't have that. I know. I know. I, I got the 2-2 because of him, I think. Yeah. No, yeah, it's... Uh... It's a different education, but I think totally uh, wasted. Yeah. Uh, the the educational part not the the social interaction and that, no. that those are the sort of two parts that you get out of uni isn't it that huge yeah. coming together of a mass of like-minded people yeah and a uh, first class educational system yeah. you know, uh, and if you are uh smart and um mature then you can make use of both of them you know you really yeah. can fill your boots can't you yeah uh, or you can only make use of one of them you know or you can completely miss the point somehow i don't know yeah. but um i do feel for grace you know she's got to go she got hasn't got to go obviously but she's gonna go and how much of that huge coming together of social interaction is there gonna be you know yeah. no well at the moment yeah very little so that's going to be weird, isn't it? I mean, you know. But she's going sure. in September, October. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So, yeah, so she's a, she's pandemic generation going. Yeah, I mean, she could take a year out, you know, but then what do you do in your year out during a pandemic? Isolate. 
Yeah. I would. I, I think I would. I think I'd take a year out. I don't know. We could just hedge my bets and hopefully in a year's time. If things have got be better. Yeah. Mm. I think there's got to be a good chance that things will get better because oh, yeah. uh, we've had X years of it being better. And it would be very unlucky if 2020 things went shit and every year after that was just as shit. You know, I, it's much more likely that it's, it's a dip, you know, and things yeah, will go back to, rough. well, I think, I don't know, but statistically I would say, you know, yeah. that's the higher chance. So taking a year out like that yeah, um, makes job. sense. So, yeah, it's a good shout. Uh, I'm not sure. Right. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what she uh, decides to do. Exciting what, times. What's she going to do? Uh, psychology. Oh, great. Mm. Well, she'll be in demand then. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. The future, yeah. It's going to be a big call for lots of therapists, psychologists. Okay. It's, a, uh, it's a frontier, isn't it? You uh, know, certainly not uh, just going <laughs> over old ground there. No. So much to, um, so many areas you can look into. Mm. Still unknown, so much unknown, isn't there? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So um, yeah, that'll be that'll be an exciting. Uh, how how have you been doing? If you haven't been doing any um, uh, tatty work. Yes. Yeah, we started a bit, so it's good. Um, it's going to be incredible. Much we've simplified everything. Right. Um. So it's smaller than it was, and I don't think that's a bad thing. It's no. smaller, and then we'll release it, and then add bits. I don't know, it's, it's very tricky, because we put stuff out for a pilot, we have hardly any feedback. It's not surprising, everyone's tired, stressed, they don't know what's going on, you know, they're not gonna pilot things. Right, no. You know, one, one group of schools wrote to me and just said, thanks for the pilot, uh, all and ch all children and staff loved it. That was the feedback. Great. Yeah, well, that's yeah it's good. good. It? I mean, well, it doesn't really. It's a bit broad, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not like it's a load of rubbish, but just no doubt, it's fine. Because she was probably like, "Oh God, I haven't done it." Blah, 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 quick. Yeah. Yeah, I get yeah. it. But another teacher wrote a longer piece, and it's positive as well. But I think right. Sam really wants lots and lots, and I'm just keep because it's out there. But I keep saying they're not. You're not going to get it. It's just not how schools work. It's frustrating, you know, because I keep trying to explain. Oh, we know, oh, don't we? We know how so frustrating. We've been it is. there, and you know, yeah. my brother sort of goes, you know, anything can be marketed. You know, anything can be sold, and I, I get it. Of course, it can. But we've been, you know, with Picture the Music, which is brilliant. I mean, it still is brilliant. We, I, can't say, we did the try direction. Every, yeah, I'm coming to totally the other direction that, you know, you cannot get through to them. You could have yeah. the, you know, the, the Mona so Lisa the and that you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't yeah. be able to persuade. And that's why me and my brother just keep falling out because he basically, and I wish I had the money to go, okay then. Yeah. Off you go. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go into something knowing he'd fail because I don't like no. it. No, <laughs> I've been there. I've been there with you and Barney. You know, good, I know. intelligent. We did our best, and I, and I believe we are good. You, me, and Barney were good, and we did our best. And I Sarah, it, yeah. she did her best, and Hang Sarah's on a good. And she's Hang on. Good. ah, and let there be light. There we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, so. It, you know this whole thing of trying to and with right inspired you know i and all the comment just like pitch music yeah comment fantastic everyone loves it yeah and how much did i sell last year in my shop one pound <laughs> <laughs> one pound and you know i've got everything in my shop yeah it's good stuff yeah no one buys it no no and I think and it's because it's it's because picture the music, right inspired, Tatty Bumpkin, the whole of me, all these things that me and you we're all involved. 
is kind of, and I do mean, you know, it's, it's new, it's different. So it's, cause it's unfamiliar. Yeah. Sell it. You can't just have someone going, Oh, here's, here's something that you know about. And it's a version of it. Easy sell. This is so new that as we found out, they go, can you tell us more about it? And the salesperson goes, not really. I'll put you through to, you know, and then you've lost it. Yeah. 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 You're trying to, you're trying to persuade the early adopters, aren't you? And, yeah, yeah. and, yeah. and push it all the way through. Yeah. And that's a huge, yeah. huge ask. Yeah, the early adopters to mass sales. Yeah. Massive effort that yeah. you're you pushing it uphill all the way. Millions. Right? You'd need millions and millions of like a sort of huge campaign of saturating every channel, every social media, saturating to make a yeah. real movement. Yeah. It's much easier to sell uh, uh, something that everyone feels, you know, it's already at the top of the hill. It's rolling down the other side yeah, yeah, yeah. and people have got fear of missing out because yeah, they feel yeah. everybody else has got it. Yeah, yeah. So they have to get it, you know. So um, it, I, I think it's probably better if your brother uh, never, never finds out. Yeah. You know, because at least this way he's got the, the belief that he could, you know, he could, yeah, certainly, he could, he could, make, he could make a success of it. Mm. Whereas you a bit uh, twisted yeah. and know that, you know, the truth is, is much darker and grimmer than that. Yeah. But schools, are, they are different. It's not like just, uh, you know, you can't have a salesperson bring up a school because the secretary will go, no, <laughs> it doesn't matter how. Like you say, you can be the Spengali, the absolute, you know, the most brilliant. They won't get through because it doesn't, they won't. No. And heads haven't got time to go, oh, yeah, you know. So I'm not sure how you market it. And that's, I suppose, flyers. If you did flyers to every school, hard copies, sort of month after month after month, you might get some traction, but it would cost an absolute bloody fortune. Yeah. Or public relations. You uh, know, you, you spend years cultivating contacts within the press to get, you know, puff pieces written about you and... Yeah. But I mean, the kind of effort you're talking about there is just awe-inspiring, isn't it? Yeah, and 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 expensive. I'm just gonna turn it up. Uh, oh, anyway. But I've been writing. Look, look, I've got my. I changed ground. You see, I always buy the same books to write songs in. Yeah. I always black moleskin. Yeah. And I went grey. <laughs> oh, how is it yeah, turning nice. out? And I've, um, I've already written one, two, three, four, and I've got two more written in the last 10 days. No and they're way. really, they're really nice. Really? Oh, they're like, I really like them. They're kind of, ja they're quite jazzy. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got, can you give us a uh, taste to fill? Yeah. Uh, right. Let's try. Okay. I'll just get my. And I had my friend Dominic, who's the, you know, used to play George Melly, guitarist. No. Uh, he came, he's Canadian guitar, he's amazing. Jazz guitarist right. of the year, twice. No way. And um, he's a good friend, he's played with some of my stuff. And uh, I played him this one. He was going, oh, nice chords, man. Yay. Uh, when someone is a real jazzer. And I was going, so what is that one called exactly? He said, oh, that's a diminished ninth. I was like, oh, hello. Hello. Moving you know, up in the world. <laughs> and here's the new, you know, the great capo. Yeah. I'm getting it to like it, the squeeze, even though it's not quite, you know, yeah. not quite one-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I sit and watch the birds in the bar. The noises are rising, that's a distant laugh. 
Yeah. Along with the barking dog. Pray and disappear. Fall into it. Forget it was never here. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, baby, love it. Nice chord. And it goes all uh, rock, so it's like. Loving it, Phil. Loving it. I say, if we can, um, if we can, uh, I, I was, I was, I, I got excited by a song this morning on the this morning on dog walk. It's 160 BPM, and I'm pretty right. sure that's uh, there is a there is a pretty straightforward link between how much I like a song and how fast it is. Oh, yeah. How uh, so. I don't, I don't know. That didn't sound like quite fast enough, but maybe uh, we could uh, pick up the pace a few BPM on it. But I love it. Love it. I love the um, yeah. Just want to rock. Yeah. I put I I uh, last weekend. I last week when we, instead of doing this, I took you know you did the um, our little song. I took that, laid it down, tried yeah, yeah. to fit it to a drum beat, and then uh, put a little bass line against it which uh -huh. was uh which was pretty good fun i love i love just messing around with these you things got, got something to... it doesn't um i didn't do it i didn't really spend much time synchronizing your acoustic guitar to oh, the okay. you know so it's um can you hear that yeah so it, it kind of sounds a bit and also i, I... oh nice i like the, the beat sounds good Remember your yeah, 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 yeah. That's great bass line. It's a lovely little synth, yeah. It's great. I love the uh love this song. Just goes on like that, and then um, yeah, we should definitely start working on um, you know, just put a good well, get a bit, get a um, sorry, I'll just pause that for a second. Uh, sorry, I'll text um, 
Yeah. yeah. Getting a, um, a dance heavy set together. Yeah, yeah. Go out and uh, play when the, when yeah. we're allowed back in a, at a room. Yeah. Be fab. Yeah. Be fun. Yeah, absolutely. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, I got this, yeah, look, this, I, I got this um, sort of little arpeggiator thing, um, you know, uh, plug in. And it just comes up with these. That's great. <laughs> And I know, how did you do that though? Where did that come from? Um, I was just, you know, I, I, I put the chords in. Right. And then, so you just put the chords in and it doesn't make any sound. And then you start fiddling about with this arpeggiator and sort of parts of the chord or variations on the chord. Right. Uh, you know, tempo and uh, time sort of burst out of it. Oh, you know, yeah. like an arpeggiator does, but sort of, it's 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 pretty pretty inspiring. I like that. I like I like that. So it was, uh, yeah, all these things. It's great. I've got a little, you know, one octave keyboard or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. No. Put it on there, don't you? You get a synth out and you start hitting that, and you go, "Wow, this sounds incredible! Uh, Fabulous!" Ah. Uh, uh, we're so lucky. I'm so I feel so blessed to be living in this time, despite the uh, the pandemic. Just the the access to technology yeah. and, and ability to record those. I mean, see the Mercury things. Prize that band on the lake or the, on the there a girl. Sorry, it's not all. It's a woman singer from Utah. Right. They're, yeah. they're nominated for the Mercury Prize. They've been going for like 14 years or something. Yeah. She's an office worker and stuff, you know. So, and they've been not. So I don't know how you got nominated or whatever, but they no. made it. I think did they make it during lockdown or something? Well, there's another. No, there's another one that she made. I didn't think much of it from what I heard, sort of poppy thing. And apparently she made it during lockdown. You think, oh, that's a quick turnaround. Yeah. You know. So maybe I've been slow with mine. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Phil. Pull yeah, your finger. I really out. like. I'm very pleased with. But now, what do I do with these? Five. Well, I've got five, and I've also got on my phone, uh, like loads of other. All the. I mean, it's just these are all ideas. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've yeah. Four tunes and things. Um. Yeah. What do you do with them? Well, exactly. But I'm. I'm it's a good. It's a. It's. A, I'm writing lots at the moment. It's good. <laughs> What do you put that down to? Because you're back, back in Wales. No, no, no. I mean, I, these these were, were just the, the other week. I don't know. I, I started with one. That that one. You know that. You know that. And the, the, what inspired me was uh, Bolsonaro, whatever he's called in Brazil. The fact he got Corona. I just thought it was brilliantly ironic. You know, it's sort of brilliantly. And it's all about these men who are just, it's called suit. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, these men in suits who are just so bloody arrogant. Yeah. God, yeah. So it's, um, Save us. Yeah. Save us. And so that's the thing. And then, and then I wrote one about, um, oh, the shortest moments holding, so the fact that Sue died and it was just that, everything changed, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That inspired that. And then, uh, you, you do find that you go through, um, you know, without fully understanding why you have times when you're very productive and then other times yeah, yeah. where nothing where happens. Yeah, definitely. And and it's just, just the easy roll with it. Yeah. 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 And it's the same with listening to music as well. For me, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to listen to any music whatsoever. Yeah. It's just a pain. Every music his songs are annoying. And then other times you just can't get enough of it and you're just shoving it down your foot yeah. in your ears. I think with me it's about, because the new Dylan album is really... You're loving that. It's, well, it's because it's, it's reminding me that it's, it's, it's not what you play. That's really, it's how you play it. Yeah. It's all about how, you know, so, you know, this, this John yeah. and he's, so, he's a brilliant guitar, I mean, legendary, worldwide, he's played with everyone. And he just, he just doesn't, 
you know, he can go on and all that. He just plays little, just sometimes it's one note. It's just, it's like, it's, it's people and the whole album, it's just, everyone's just playing. That's bit, right. no, yeah, I took a no. listen to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's There's just like... very classy. It's people who know music. They absolutely, it's so collaborative and magical mm. and just mm. everyone playing what's needed. Yeah. And not, like, no ego, not going, here's, I'm the drummer. It's just, you know, they've got amazing people. And it's they're really in a band. Great. And yeah. yeah. And the thing is, that means you are a good musician. You know, that's what brilliant musicians do. It's, it's what they don't play. Yeah. You know, bands that where everyone's just noodling away. It's just, it's just a mess. Yeah. You know, it's about, and I think, yeah, it, that sort of just playing just what's needed. Yeah. And if, if a great big rock solo is needed, go ahead, you know. But often it's the most beautiful songs are very... Um, yeah, that's, there's, there's something in that about life as well, in that it's uh, the people who, you know, uh, are, are successful, uh, you know, not, not successful as in financially or anything, but se who who are admirable about how they do their life is it's often because of the things that they're doing for other people, you know, or they're, they're giving away, you know, it's like being in a band, you know, the generous band members yeah. are the ones that you go, you know, at the ones who don't play all the time, who let, who give the room for other people to play, who make other people look good. They're, they're, they're the impressive ones, aren't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? But they're not. Because when you listen to the song, I think it's all about the song. That's obviously the art form. Is that it's, it's all about the song. The song. Needs. And if you're all in tune, then that's what's magical. Everyone gives what the song needs. So when it rises, it right every, you know, and that's beautiful. Hearing that. Yeah. Beautiful. And and yeah. I was saying, you know, there was a brilliant documentary on Rockfield Studios, brilliant in Wales. Yeah, everyone's played, you know, and it's just, it's a farm, it's kind of quite tatty, and, but some amazing bands went up, Bowie and all these people, you know, to sort of find their muse, because it's old school, it's not, and they were saying, that, oh, who was talking about it, it was um, the Charlatans and people like that, um, who I really like, and the lead singer there, he's quite an interesting guy, he's still playing, and he's saying, the thing is now, it's just loops, and you know, that feeling of being with the band, and just working it out and, and the song guiding you. I know it all sounds a bit spiritual, but in a way it is that kind of, everyone as a musician, it's, it's wondering, I miss that. You I, know, I miss that. Computers, it's beautiful. Yeah. But because you can do everything yourself, I think that's, you know. It's a different I, thing, isn't it? It's a different the, vibe. The, it's the being with the band, yeah. And just all following the muse. Yeah wherever it takes yeah. is an incredible, is yeah. an incredible experience. And, and to, to get that, you know, that's my dream is to get to, to record in a, in a studio, just four people, you know, for a week. And I'll go with five, 10 songs, whatever. And you just play and you just record every take, just record everything. What I love though, is the weeks before that, where you meet up, you know, once a week, and you play the songs and then you go away from a week and everybody thinks about the songs and they sort of practice their yeah, parts yeah, yeah. and then they all come back and you play them all again and they're like 10 times better but different you know and people have got ideas and then you go away for a week and you come back and they're you know two times worse but you know i love that you know that regular uh but with gaps in between yeah know? yeah of a band practice thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And band practices, I mean, it's great, you know. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. But, oh yeah, you know, a small band, that would be my dream. Like a sort of, just a drummer. Drummer, a bass. Bass, a, a, a guitar, maybe, yeah, a guitar and then a lead, a multi-instrumentalist, that's what you want. Yeah. A bass, drums, guitar, and then someone who plays lots of, you know, Zimmers and uh, yeah. know, Dulcimers and, um, you know, yeah. Zimmer. Do you know what I mean Zimmer? I meant Dulcimer, sorry. Um, yeah. You know, and pedal steels and yeah. slide guitars and, you know, 
mandolins, Some woodwinds, sort of and noodles. Yeah, well, or some sort of, yeah, just, yeah, because it is. It's just, it is. It's a very weird thing the recording process now, because it's, it's actually quite a lone, which I quite like. But it's very, you're never going to. Well, no, you do surprise yourself. You do kind of. But it's but very. It's, it's the same. It's very, yeah, there is. It's it's one dimensional, in compared to a band, and that's good because it's all your dimension. But it's and bad very because. Personal. Yeah, nobody, nobody else is is taking it in directions you wouldn't have thought of. I like it's the idea. Of, um, yeah, maybe what I should do is. Uh, export these as stems and send them over to you yeah. and then you could add you know a layer to them i don't know it doesn't sound very um that doesn't sound the same does it it's not the no. same vibe at all i mean it's just getting a i think with that with the one where it's getting a rhythm it's getting a really good rhythm and then i'm yeah. gonna structure some lyrics you know Yeah. Right. Let's uh, wrap this up. Do you want to do a um, a wheel? Yeah, let's do a wheel. Oh, jingle challenge, Phil. Oh, no. Well, you've got the guitar out there, so jingle challenge. So what, what? Can you write a better jingle? Can you write a better jingle? And this is the current jingle leader. Oh, not that one. Phil and Danny show. <laughs> Phil and Danny show. Danny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I don't know. Can I? Can you? Like, you sing, and I'll, I'll do. I'll do a a phrase, and then you sing to it. Uh, okay. Well, what are we gonna? I need. To, I need um, to write down some lyrics then. Um. um oh. We can either go sort of, you know, sort of funky. Or uh, rocky. It's every week. We, we get together. Good, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what are we going to go for that kind of, you know, that one? Or the other one? The, the one, the, the one before that, the one with the, uh, the gaps. Yeah. 
God. Mm. Every week we get together, we barely speak, gives us with pleasure the Phil and Danny show. Hey, Phil and Danny show. Nice. Um, I've always wondered, right, you were playing the guitar there, obviously. Yeah. I, I was having to wait for the guitar to come over to me, right. and then I was singing back. Yeah. And you were having to, you weren't waiting for the guitar, but you were having to wait for the guitar to get to me and then for my voice to get back yeah. to you. It sounded all right to me, though. Ah. Uh -huh. It sounded, sounded like, synced up. Yeah, to me. Right. Well, there we go. That's a. Uh, <laughs> so it sounded shit to you. <laughs> no, it sounded great, but I mean, I was I was singing along to your guitar. I didn't know. I couldn't tell how bad it sounded to you. Coming, I mean, you know, how much delay there was. Um, what song can we? So just just on that, try singing a song together, uh, and see because I don't think that's possible with today's technology, you know. Really. Because, well, only because of the latency. Surely there's enough latency there that you're going to slow down to try and yeah. catch up, and I'm going to try and slow down, and then we're just going to grind to a halt. Right. Um, what should we say? Uh, I don't know. Um, what, what song do we both know? Um, um, God. I try it's weird, isn't it? Um it's just that well there must be a song we we can just um um <laughs> Well, I can be a naff one, like you are my sunshine or something. <laughs> so oh, yeah, know. try that one. Do you yeah, know? I don't know, I don't know if beyond you are my sunshine. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, yeah, we'll just do just do this with you. I'll just get my bass one moment. Sunshine, my only sunshine. You'll never be when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't turn, don't turn, oh God. Wait, I'll go down, I'll go to um, second fret. What's that, is that A? Yeah, A. Okay, yeah. Are you gonna sing as well? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna shine my only sunshine. It's all grind to a halt. Right, so you've got to be strong with the uh the, the rhythm. You you keep going, okay? And I'm gonna sing along. We'll play it back and see whether it actually works. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Shine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh. Phone, phone, neighbours. <laughs> Hello?
I'm in the middle of a podcast, love. I'm just... Hey, okay, I'll do it. All right, I'll have to I'll sign off and then do it. All right, I'll do it. All right, love you, bye. All right, i got to put the dog in. <laughs> Apparently it's barking. Oh, I'm sure that sounded awesome. I think oh, we've got to wrap it up, Phil. It sounded, it sounded you were miles behind me, but it sounded quite good. Like you were sort of, because I was going, you are my son. You know, it's like a, <laughs> a good three <laughs> seconds behind. But I thought, were you deliberately, were you trying to sing with me, were you? I was singing with you. All oh, right, it didn't sound like that. You're no. miles behind. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what, quite good. I wonder what the recording will sound like. You know I what I mean? Thought, uh, yeah, right. Whether well. it'll be what you heard or what I heard. No, or what I heard. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll just be shit. Anyway, <laughs> see you later then. Lots of love, Phil. Bye. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye.